Kayla, and as you can tell from the shadows and the stack you're gonna see, I'm here for you with a book haul. Um, yeah, you guys have seen a lot of book content on my channel lately um, because that's really most of what I've been doing during quarantine is reading. And um, <laughs> I did, I did some bad things lately, um, and not that bad, really good. But I have a lot of books to show you. My to read list is very, very long right now. Some of these I have already read. Um, but this pile comes from two Barnes and Noble trips, a Target trip, an Amazon order, a Fred Meyer trip, and um, a stack that I'm borrowing from a friend that I thought I would show you as well. Um, as you guys can tell, Barnes & Noble is one of the few places I've allowed myself to go during quarantine. I have like a list of like four stores I allow myself to go to. Um, and three of them are featured in this, the other one's Trader Joe's. You can't get books there. But I go there quite a bit too, because food. Um, so, I have some books to show you. Um, yeah. I'm also working on, um, with the friend who gave me all these books to read actually, um, I'm working on a new book challenge, a new reading challenge that will be on my bookstagram eventually. Um, so I do, I, a lot of this is like research and making decisions, um, for that challenge, um, and making sure I have books for whatever that challenge is, um, so I can obviously do it along with you. If you haven't followed my bookstagram yet, it is Read with Kayla XO. It is now linked in my description of my videos. Um, I'm really excited about it. I love books, so I made myself a bookstagram. Um, da -da 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 -da, let me, wrong app, I was gonna show you my bookstagram. So we've got, this is Read by Kayla, or Read with Kayla XO. We got some book pictures. It looks like this. Go and follow it. There will probably be more pictures there by the time you're seeing this video. But, yes. Okay. Um, my camera battery is dying. So, um, we're gonna see how choppy this video ends up. But, let's start. I don't even know where to start. Let me sort these books into their order of when I bought them and then I'll come back. All right, so this isn't gonna be in the order that I got them, but it's gonna be a little more organized so I can kind of explain what the piles are, what we've got here. So um, the first four books I've got are ones I bought at Target. The other day I went to go pick up a few things and I left with four books. Um, and honestly, all of these were on my to read list already. I just hadn't bought them yet, so I decided to buy them because at Target, you get generally 20 to 15% off list price, 15 to 20 the other way, um, off list price, and then I also have a red card so I get an extra 5% off, so I try and buy books at Target when I see the ones that I like, um, because a little bit of a discount, and yeah. So the first one I got is um, Circe by Madeline Miller, which has been on my list for a while. Then I've got Little Fires Everywhere, One to Watch, which I've been super excited about. Um, my sister got it. And my best friend got it in their book of the month. I don't do book of the month right now um, because I buy too many books already. <laughs> um, I probably should because it's probably cheaper. Um, but anyway, um, they both said that I would really like this, so I got that. And then I've got Crave by Tracy Wolf because who doesn't love a good vampire story? Um, then I was at Fred Meyer doing my grocery shopping the other day and <laughs> ended up forgetting that it was the day Midnight Sun came out. So I threw this on with my groceries. Um, I don't know when I'll ever get to reading this. I, it's longer than Twilight, which makes sense to me because Edward is a hot mess. But I'm also like, oh God, what am I gonna read this? So uh, I got Midnight Sun, it'll take me a while. I'm not, I'm like, I wasn't as hyped about it as everyone else is. It's like, I mean, I'm not a huge Stephanie Meyer fan as a person. I love the Twilight books. I did reread them this year, but also I'm like, eh, meh, I don't know. Um, then I, for some reason, don't know where they went. I wanted to reread the After series, so I bought a new copy of After, but I don't know where the rest of mine went, so I did order the rest of them. I wish I hadn't. I wish I had just read my younger sister's copies and waited until the movie versions of each one come out, because then I'd have a full movie set, but that's okay. So we've got After We Collided, After We Fell, After Ever Happy, uh, which I have, yes, reread all of them, um, because I read so so fast and yeah so out of that pile all I've read is the after ones the rest of these are still to be read 
Um, okay, then we have um, my m not most recent trip to Barnes & Noble. Least recent, previous. Um, this is a smaller, smaller pile than my most recent Barnes & Noble haul. Um, but, uh, yeah, I went to Barnes & Noble on my way home from, I had to go into my office one day, and so I went home, and Barnes & Noble's on the way home from my office, and so I picked up some books, obviously. So we've got um, Adding More Ink to Your Life by Gabrielle Bernstein. Um, also by Gabrielle Bernstein, we've got May Cause Miracles. So those are just two of her books I hadn't read yet, so I grabbed those. Um, then we've got Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins, which I have read and I absolutely loved. And then I gave it to my little sister to borrow, and she read it in one night, and she's not... This is not the sister who does Book of Month. This is the other little sister, and she's not a super fast reader, and she read this in one night, and she loved it as well. So I highly recommend this. Um, Scotland, princesses, boarding school, lesbians... I, it's a great book. <laughs> um, then we've got, um, finally all of the books that I wanted to buy back in June have come back in stock, obviously, because there's a few books that I didn't want to buy ebook versions of, um, when I was buying all of my books by black authors, um, and there's just a few that I did not want to buy ebook versions of, and this was one of them, and they finally had it back in stock in a real copy, so it's, a uh, Me and White Supremacy, um, and so I bought that because I, this is one I wanted in a physical copy, and now I have it because it's kind of has like workbook elements to it, and I wanted to be able to like annotate it more than I can annotate an ebook. So there's that. Then I'm a sucker for big classic collections, so I and I just directed a musical version of Emma, so I bought a Jane Austen collection because you can never have too many classics. Um, but yeah, I was just directing a show that is a musical adaptation of Emma. And so I decided I needed to buy a new copy of Emma, which turned into buying a copy of four Jane Austen novels. It's fine. Um, okay, I guess staying on the same page, this is probably the same day, actually. Um, one of my friends had come by my office to pick up a check, and she showed up with a bag of books for me to read, because she was like, I think I kind of know which kind of books you like and what you would like to read, so I picked some of my collection for you to read. This is also the friend who's helping me with this book challenge. Uh, Corey is amazing. I love her with my whole soul. So she gave me um, six books to read, um, and so these are those. So we've got uh, Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine, The Bride Test. House of Salt and Sorrows, which I'm obsessed with this cover. I'm obsessed. Um, we've got The Cruel Prince and the Wicked King. And uh, another Rachel Hawkins book, the one before um, Her Royal Highness, Prince Charming. So, which I believe is about the older brother, right? I think. I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited too. So there's those books that I borrowed from Corey that I'm super excited to read. Now we have my most recent Barnes & Noble haul, which I went um, on Sunday. I'm filming this on Tuesday, so I went two days ago. I've already read one of these. The first one is the one I've read, um, American Royals by Catherine McGee. Y'all are obsessed with this. I devoured it. I read it last night and this morning. So good. I'm so excited for the sequel that comes out next month. Ah, it's so good. <laughs> and then we've got another Twisted Tale, The Aladdin One, A Whole New World. Um, I didn't really like the Peter Pan one, and this is by the same author, so I'm a little nervous because Aladdin's one of my favorite stories, um, but we'll see how I feel about that. Then I wanted to watch Cursed on Netflix, but I decided I wanted to read the book first, so I grabbed a copy of the book. It turns out the movie version was cheaper than the original version of the book, so I bought the movie version. So there's that. Then everyone and their mother has read this book. I have not read this book. All my friends have been like, Kayla, you need to read this book, and so I bought this book. Throne of Glass. So I'm going to start this series. I know it's a pretty long series, so I bought the first one just to try it out. Um, then we've got a book I almost bought at Target, and then I was like, I already have four books, but then I decided to buy it at Barnes & Noble, and it is um, I'm Still Here, Black Dignity in a World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. Um, so there's that. I think this one just came out very recently. I think this one's new. Let's see. Oh no, this one, maybe it's a reprint, because it's been... This is one that like I just saw a couple days ago get put back out, so it must, it must have been a reprint, and it's in Reese's book club, that's why. Reese Witherspoon. Alright, um, then we've got Bookish and the Beast, which uh, I saw on Instagram and then saw Barnes Noble that I bought. Then we have The Red Queen, um, which one of my little sister's friends was like, hey, you should read this, so I'm going to. Um, I finally bought it. Um, then we have another nonfiction book. We have Lady Romeo, The Radical and Revolutionary Life of Charlotte Cushman, America's First Celebrity. Um, I don't know if you've ever 
heard anything about Charlotte Cushman, but she is an incredible, incredible woman. Um, and she was just an incredible actress. And so I, said, I learned a lot about her in school, but then um, one of my professors posted that one of my classmates had sent her this book to read. Um, and so then I bought myself a copy. <laughs> And then we have another Madeline Miller book, uh, The Song of Achilles, which is the story of Achilles and Patroclus, which I'm really excited to read. I love my, my Iliad and my Odyssey and all of that, and I love when it's adapted into other stories. So, that's a lot of books. I didn't even count how many it says. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 new books. And I'm so excited to read all of them. And I've read, I mean, I've read a few of these ones already, so that's not bad. But that is my most recent book haul. Um, I obviously will update you guys as I read them. Um, let me know what kind of book videos you want to see in the comments. Um, head over and follow Read with Kayla XO if you want to see more instant reactions to these books. And also follow me on Goodreads um, because that's where I obviously am updating when I read them. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, leave a comment below what you are currently reading, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!